Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Medieval Dynasty and we're going to be showing you where to buy each and everything in the game. So uh, for convenience sake we're going to divide it by categories. So I won't just start in this town and show you where to buy all the stuff. I'll show you each category. And the first category we're going to do is tools. So just for reference we're starting off in uh, Gustovia. And yeah, so let's just work through it. So in this town you can buy a couple things and the first of which is the scythe which you can buy from Unigost. He will always have... A bunch of sides in his inventory 450 gold uh but yeah you can get that here and uh as far as other tools that you can get from him go you can get the bag and the water skin from him so some decent uh things that you can buy right here in the main town another place to get uh quite a few tools is going to be over here in lesnica it's this uh village right here the one farthest to the left and you're going to want to talk to uh, teobald and from him, you can buy an iron axe, iron hammer, pickaxe, scythe, shearing scissors, or iron arrows. So uh, not a bad place to go, and it's a little bit closer than some of the other places. So definitely a great place if you need uh, most of the basic tools. Kind of the ultimate spot for tools is going to be in the village of Hornica. And you're going to want to look for Jan here. And he's going to have all sorts of stuff. You're going to be able to get a crossbow from him, iron knife, iron spears, iron axe, iron hammer, iron hoe, iron shovel, pickaxe, scythe, shearing scissors, iron arrow, and iron bolts. So this is just about the best tool store in the game. So uh, it's kind of a trip from where most people like to locate themselves. But if you need tools, this guy is uh, one of the guys to go to. I mean, he, he really has basically everything. I don't think there's a single thing that you can't buy here. If you're looking for weapons, a great trader is here in Lesnica. That's this one way over to the left here. So you're going to want to go here and talk to Gazela. And from her, you're going to be able to buy a uh, longbow or a recurve bow, which is the most advanced uh, bow in the game. Uh, spears, you can get water skin, stone arrow, wooden bolts. But basically, uh, this is one of the few places in the game where you can get a recurve bow. So it's definitely a good place to go for that. A great place for hunting gear is going to be up at the corner of these roads up here. You see these two nearest cities? Well, it's up here. And you're going to find a little cabin with this guy, Sambor. And he sells bows, longbows, water skins, stone arrow, uh, dried fish and meat, which is great food because it keeps for a really long time in your inventory, even though the nutrition isn't great. Uh, and of course, fur and leather. So for hunting supplies, this is a great place to stop. So for some more weapons and tools, you got to come to the town of Borobo here. Uh, you can see it's right across the river from Gustovia and talk to Falibor. And from him, you can buy the cudgel, stone knife, wooden spear, bucket, stone axe, stone hoe, wooden hammer, and wooden shovels. So real low level stuff, but it's available. So for one of the less common areas, uh, which is going to be a fishing guy, you're going to want to come to this town here. It's a uh, Jezerica. And this guy is one of the few places where you can buy fishing spears, uh, fish meat, or salt. So if you're looking for fishing spears, which is good for fishing, you know, you can, you don't unlock it to be able to craft it until you build the fishing hut, which is pretty late in development. So uh, it's definitely a useful thing. And you can get salt here too, which you can also mine, but yeah, you can buy it from this guy. A great trader to go to for uh, linen and stuff is going to be right here in Hornica. So it's going to be this lady here, Carolina. And she's going to offer her bag, hoods, tunics, and then you're going to be able to get flax, flax stalks, linen fabric, linen thread, wool fabric, and wool thread. So if you're uh, a sewer or a clothes maker, I don't, know, I don't know exactly what you'd be called, this is definitely a good resource. Another place for uh, sewing or linens or whatever you want to call it is going to be here in Denica. And you can talk to Matilda here. And from her, you're going to be able to buy some of your basic clothing items. As you can see here, you got hat, cap, boots, hood, hose, simple tunic. But here you're also going to be able to get bags or flax, flax stalks, wool fabric, and wool thread. So if you're going to be sewing, this is a, a good stop. So for another good textile stop, you have the town of Branica. And in there you have Lubomira, who's got, again, most of your basic clothing here. Flax, flax stalks, flax seeds, so you can plant flax, which is very important if you plan on doing it on a large scale. Linen fabric and linen thread. So another great place if you need resources to sew clothing. Another important place when it comes to textiles is going to be here in Gustovia, where you can talk to Unigost, who you may remember from the tool section, but he also sells flax, flax stalk, and linen thread, which is all very important for textiles. For a place where you're going to be able to buy some of your basic farming needs, like uh, manure and some eggs and stuff like that, you come over to Rolnica here, and you talk to Tamira, and she's got eggs, meat, 
animal feed, and manure. So uh, that's one of the places to get that. So another good place for your basic farming needs is going to be here in Baranica. And you're going to want to look for Norbert. And he sells cabbages, animal feed, cabbage seeds, manure, and wool. So you're going to be able to get all of those lovely things right from this guy. And while we're talking about basing, basic farming stuff in the town of Borowo, if you find Ida, you can buy eggs from her. I know that's not uh, wild, but you can. So another great place to go for basic farming supplies is going to be Gustovia, where you're going to want to talk to Sobomir. And from him, you can buy egg, meats, animal feed, and manure. So very important stuff. So if you're looking for seeds and you want to get farming, a good place to go is Gustovia. And look for Adelina. She sells carrot seeds, flour, onion seeds, rye grain, and wheat grain. So a lot of important stuff that you're going to need if you want to be a farmer. So as a farming place where you're going to get seeds, you're going to want to come to uh, Rolnica over here. It's this village up here in the top left. And you're going to want to talk to Nadar. And he has beetroot seeds, carrot seeds, oat grain, and rye grain. I believe he might be the only one to have oats and beetroots. I'm not 100% sure. Sure. But I know you can get all four of those things here. To briefly talk about food, there are two traders that sell basically the exact same thing, so I'm not going to show you both of them. One of them's here in Hornica, and one of them is here in Gostovia. And the one in Gostovia is Jarganiwa. I think is how you say that. Probably not. But these are the innkeepers, and they sell all of your basic food things that can be made. So uh, the one in the other town is basically identical. It's slightly different, but almost exactly the same stuff. So if you're looking for food and you don't want to make it on your own, which I don't recommend because it's expensive to buy and basically unlimited supply of it out in the wild, super easy to get. So if you want food, this is where you buy it. So I believe I've showed you each and every place where you can buy all the stuff. So now you should literally know how to buy each and everything that is possible to be purchased in this game. Uh, I broke it up into sections to make it as useful as possible. You know, maybe you were just looking for seeds. So I keep all the seeds in one section. Uh, I hope this helps. I hope you found the guide useful. And if you have anything else you'd like me to show you in the game, let me know down in the comment section. But in any case, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.